Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to another Raspberry Pi hands-on tutorial. In this video, we'll work with an ultrasonic sensor to measure distance. To follow along, in addition to a Raspberry Pi board with a micro SD card with the Raspberry Pi OS installed and a power supply, you'll also need an ultrasonic sensor. Here I'm using a model HC SR04 and some jumper wires. In this video, I'll also be using a GPIO extension board connected to the breadboard. Before we take a look at the circuit, let's discuss the sensor and how it works at a high level. The HC SR04 is a four pin sensor. It has a VCC pin or power, which is three to five volts, a trigger pin, an echo pin, and a ground pin. They also have two ultrasonic transducers. The transmitter transducer sends out a pulse and the receiver transducer receives a signal back after the pulse bounces off an object and returns. Then, based on the time it took between sending and receiving the signal, it calculates the distance between the sensor and the object. Now, with that understanding, let's wire up the circuit. I started by connecting four jumper wires to the sensor. Red to the VCC, purple to the trigger pin, green to the echo pin, and black to ground. Then I connected the ground wire to the ground rail on the breadboard and the red wire to the positive rail on the board. Then I connected the green and purple wires to the breadboard, added a blue jumper wire from GPIO 18 to the purple wire connected to the sensor and a green jumper wire from GPIO 24 to the green wire connected to the sensor. I could have made these connections on the breakout board, but I thought it would be easier to see spread out on a larger breadboard. Now let's take a look at the code. I start out by importing the GPIO and time libraries. Then I'll call the set mode method on GPIO, setting the mode to BCM. I have variables for the trigger and echo pins on pins 18 and 24. And then I call setup on GPIO setting the GPIO trigger to out and GPIO echo to in. In the main method, there is an infinite loop which creates a variable which is the result of calling the distance function. In the distance function, we set GPI output to the trigger, setting it to true, and then sleep to let the sensor initialize before setting GPIO output on the trigger to false. Then there are variables for the start time and the stop time and two while loops, one which will set the start time from when the signal is sent out and one to save the time when the echo returns. Finally, we calculate the distance and return it and print it out in a formatted string. Then sleep before executing the loop again and getting the current distance. Now let's log into the Pi and execute the program. Here. We can see the starting distance from the sensor to the object is approximately 19.5 centimeters. As I start moving the object closer to the sensor, we can see the displayed distance is decreased. Then it's increased as I move the object away. So that concludes this video on measuring distance with an ultrasonic sensor. If you found it useful, feel free to give it a like. And if you'd like to be notified when I add more content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another Raspberry Pi video soon.